Pervince. You know how you, your sword sings? Yes. And Kyle does the that voice? Mm -hmm. I, I lost maybe that I sword. shouldn't spill the beans. Maybe I shouldn't spill the beans. That sword's that gone. Man. But I want to. Uh, yeah, you did lose it. Yeah. I made you lose it. Yes. I'm sorry. I want to introduce a weapon that, that forces you to rap. If that were a web cool. series, I would watch it. Look at those Pervince eyes light up. And the singing sword. <laughs> Look at those eyes light up. Guys, we're back. It's been four weeks, I think. It's Probably. been too long since we've played, we've rolled dice, we've played D&D. Uh, because of that time frame, there's, there's something that I want to preface right away. It's been a long time. I have not had a chance to go back and watch the previous episode like I should have. I am not... Well, there might be details that we miss. If there are, please let us know. We'll try to address them in future episodes. We're, yeah. we're piecing things together as best we can. But we are at a climax, guys. Like Sylvia's down to three HP. No. Yeah. That's how no. I remember it. We yeah. had her full of swords, yeah. just a bunch of swords. Uh, yeah, no, this episode is just the, the epilogue, basically. The, the soldiers yeah. from the spinning sands came and they threw their magic scimitars all over whatever her name is. And Wait, she's I mean, you dead. wouldn't even know that since Lila is dead. What about like yeah. Lila is dead? Yeah. I'm, but well, her I'm, ghost I'm is living I'm kind of dead. On. Yeah, I'm like a, I'm like an ethereal mist. Between now. worlds, it was, if yeah, you will. yeah. I Has it always been your anything. dream to be an ethereal mist? Uh, I want to be made out of stars, like Singularity from A Force. I'm writing this down. Or Q. I want to be like a Q from Star Trek, but the, one of the girl ones. Did uh, Huey Dewey mist. and Louie run off? <laughs> It was Bucky, Ducky, and Lucky. Bucky, Ducky, and Lucky. Did they run off? They episode? exploded. They exploded. Again. They're gone. They're gone. They're remember last forever. episode? Yeah, but yeah. Robo. The music was Robo, yeah, Bucky, like Ducky, Robo. and Ducky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But now back. the magic is gone. We're losing them. Anyway, we're losing them. Okay, all right. None of that was real. None of that's real. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Except yeah, I'm not serial mist. Okay, to set things up really quickly, you, uh, Lila and Purvis, you are in what is essentially, as you refer to it, the brain of Sylvia. Yeah. You saw a giant white rotating crystal. It revealed a lot of things to you. It revealed all of the things that you want and you desire for each character, but it also revealed your skeletons. Think about what that means. Yeah. Uh, it's not super obvious. We really need to determine what our crystal method is going to be <laughs> here. <laughs> Think about our crystal math. Wait, I'm noticing an important qualifier in the sentence you used. What was that? What we think of as Sylvia's brain. Are we not actually in Sylvia's brain? Uh, well, you know, it's not then, actually. It's no, it is, but it's. <laughs> You it's, did walk through a door to get here. It's not a brain, right? Yeah. I mean, when you think of a brain, it's her core. It, yeah, that's yeah. actually okay. a more accurate All way right. of All thinking right. about it. Yeah. So I just wanted to make sure it wasn't some trick, that it was actually you, important. Aside from losing the singing it. sword, which is super unfortunate, you guys are actually in a very fortuitous situation. We'll There's a right. lot to take advantage of. You're not in any danger that you can tell. How big, sorry, how big is the room that it, we're in? So. It seems limitless. Okay, cool. Yeah. Because then I can use all my magic. We even sent Miko plummeting to oh, yeah. his sphincter yeah. puncture. Miko uh, is gravely wounded but limped away from danger. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> my sphincter, you Who knows <laughs> what's going on with Miko right this second? <laughs> A lot of leakage. Yeah. 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 Anal leakage. Um, Mecha, Andre, slash Hogger, and True Hogger, Prime Hogger. Uh, you, Hogger, you are in terrible situation. You just got yeah. stabbed through the chest by Neb3, who's trying to avenge his brother, Neb2, and you feel bad. You feel like Neb2 died unjustly, and so you, you are trying to tell him, no, wait, stop. Yeah. And seeing your comrade get wounded, uh, you kind of had this bloodlust, and you charged after Hogger. We are kind of in that sequence right now. That situation hasn't been resolved, so I think that's the first thing we should tackle. Okay. I think I already yelled, but if I didn't, I yell to Neb3 behind you. You already did that. Yeah. 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 So you did do that. Yeah. Uh, thank you for filling that in. I, there, there, there might be a lot of moments like yeah. that in this episode. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so Neb3 looks behind him. He sees Mecha Andrew charging him. How are you charging at Neb3? Uh. Charging a no with axe forward, just a standard charge. It's a good charge. Just like this, you know, just charging forward. <laughs> like what? Just like that. <laughs> just like that. You're on a like that fast, like tiny. That it's seems like, like a slow it's march. Like a, it's like <laughs> a, you're galloping. Yeah, on no, a horse. Uh, and trying to intimidate. Okay. You're the All right. Lord. Also, give the axe space in your hand, please. That's Jesus. a big axe. Like yeah, that? You there mean? you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Could I have you make an intimidation Wait. check, please? Sure. Oh, my ex. 
All right, that's a five. What, do I, what can I add to that, Hubert? Intimidation. Yeah. Plus three. Okay, we got an eight. <laughs> okay. I bet you Ned three is gonna be intimidating. Andrea is still n new to this body. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> my role was so low that you actually do intimidate him. Yeah. <laughs> you intimidate him so much <laughs> that he was instead of brushing you aside and, and making the finishing blow on Hogger. Yeah. He actually diverts his whole attention to you, so his entire body pivots to you, uh -huh. and he gets in a ready stance with his sword, like he's going to try to deflect your charge. Okay. Okay. Could I have you make an attack roll, please? Absolutely. Oh, that's, that's a two, but that, no, we add a lot to that. <laughs> that misses no matter what. That's Aww. a two. I mean, unless it's like, add plus 20. It's plus nine. No one has any points of inspiration, right? Are we all out? Tapped. All out. Tapped. I've got yeah. six. But I'm not in the same place as them. Yeah, we don't need it. Share the load. Uh, right, so Share just takes a real attempt to just, after, you know, slowly marching forward, just like does this. Yeah. Yeah. And he just takes his longsword mm -hmm. and deflects it away like it's a fly. Okay. And he says, I'm going to give you one chance oh my God. to turn away. This is my parade. This is my, my, my honor. Rest in this orc. Turn away now, otherwise suffer the consequences. What are these consequences you speak of? Your head? I will cut it off, and I'll put it on my belt. I'm and a robot now, you idiot. I wanna try attacking again. Can I interrupt? He realizes yeah, that yeah, you're yeah. a robot. Yeah. Can I say, can I <laughs> talk to him? Yeah, absolutely. I say, wait! What? Both of you, it was a misunderstanding. <laughs> Neb3, you've been betrayed. Your brother was betrayed by demons, conjured by that queen you call Sylvia. What's her name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how it works in your barbaric orcish lands, but around here, we demand proof for such bold claims. The proof can be my life. Strike me down now as proof that I'm not lying. If that's what it takes, your brother died a most dishonorable death. So be it. He raises his sword above Harger and attacks. I, I allow I'm it. I'm ready for it. I allow it? Yep. Okay. I allow it. Wait, you just let him hit you? Yep. Yeah. I mean, I'm wounded anyway. I can't even, like, move. What? It was an honor play. Yeah. Is he going to go through with it, Ben? I went for it. Is Nem going to go through with it? I went for the honor play. These are the... I yep. guess he's not back in the moment decisions yeah. that make or break an episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nem 3 has no honor. You know, honor. This, this is a tight no, Neb three, Neb three does have honor. Andrew, kill Neb three. I'm sure this is a tight situation for any DM. Yeah. The decision you've got to make right now. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you want to do, man. Right? Sips. A lot of sips happening. In that mug. Are you wearing a midriff? Yeah, man. What year is this? <laughs> yo, yo, you're only young once. It's my new philosophy. Neb three <laughs> raises his sword. His sword is already raised. I look him dead in the eyes. He looks you dead in the eyes. No words are spoken. No. Nope. He slashes down. Stops. And you can feel the cold steel touching your neck. I'm not an idiot. Very few, if any, creatures would let me behead them they were truly guilty. Whoa. I ask one favor of you. You will devote your life to me <laughs> until <laughs> we can recover the remains of my brother. Once we recover the remains of my brother, however it's done, and we bury him properly, 
I will release you from your service. If you do not agree to these terms, I will kill you now. I agree. Ben, I would like to do a sneak attack. Oh God! While well, this conversation is yes. happening, yeah. What if you okay. Oh, How do you? Uh, Neb too. So you you want to <laughs> fuck this up? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's what Andrew Hogger would do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So how do you like? Do you want to just like cut his head off? Do you want to stab him in the back? How do you want to do this? I want to stab him in his big, fat, uh, uh, spider butt. The least effective attack. Yeah. Okay. But it's it's the one that's facing me. He's he turned just around. Aim for butts. Just cut your his head off. You're behind it. It's the biggest thing. It's just a big. To break sphincters. No, I'm just thinking of. I tell him I agree. Okay. And that it would be an honor. Yeah. Well. To look <laughs> for the betrayed. He's probably Neb just two. over there where you fought him. No, no, no. <laughs> Neb, Neb two like dissipated. Oh. When he got stabbed by the four shadow selves, he just kind of like dissipated. But Neb, Neb, Neb three. Neb three. I, just from a from a lore no perspective, N Kyle is absolutely correct. Neb three doesn't realize that. Yeah, there's he, nothing we can give Neb three. Yeah. This is yeah. a dead end. Yeah. No way, man. He's in another dimension or but, something. But oh, no. <laughs> if you were to talk <laughs> to the right deities, perhaps you could make something happen. I mean, Ian's right. When the shadow selves show up, they'll probably yeah. just they'll just bring Neb three's corpse sure. with them and help us out. Yeah, those shadow people uh, haven't seen him in a while. I may not see him for a while. What's a spider bulb called? What are those things called? The thorax. 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 I'm, I'm stabbing that thorax sneak really? attack. I think. Take an axe to that thorax. Okay, so axe to the thorax. <laughs> uh, you're probably going to be successful, but yeah. I want you to roll a stealth check regardless. Okay. Can there I do is a, a chance. Can I perception check? Can I like sense? Yes, in? absolutely you can. Yeah, I'm yes, doing that. Yes, absolutely. Okay, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so 17. What's our stealth? What do you got there, Huber? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's dex. You're a goddamn dex. robot. Oh, we got some dex. We can, so that's a 19. Okay. Yeah. Parts of a Kay. spider. Go ahead. So you want to be a spider. Ooh. All right, so uh, you are successfully stealthy. No, yep. Uh, I just want to say, like, you, as a rogue, you pretty much never use sneak attack. Yeah. But as a, as a giant killing I almost robot. never have this opportunity. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Okay. <laughs> uh, important update, it's just called the abdomen. Oh, okay. The uh, the part with the head is the cephalothorax. Wow. So you're so looking thorax, you're looking at spider stuff. No thorax. Yeah. You're a brave man. Sure it's just a diagram, Ben. It's all right. It's never they have a right. femur. Whoa. Palp. Oh, that reminds me, Ben. I was gonna Carapace. get you something in China. It was like a spider. Tarsus, metatarsus. Inside like of hand. glass. I would have fucking killed you. Oh, someone in the comments told us about how spider legs work. Yeah, no thanks. And why they curl up when they die. You asked us about it. I did. Is it but, like a nerve thing? You know, some no, it's like hydraulics. Oh. So spider legs work by just like pumping in pumping. and out liquid. Hmm. Isn't that freaky? Whoa, that is freaky. And so when they die, just like no more liquid in them. Spiders are the worst. So you have yeah. advantage on the attack roll. Okay. Here we go. That's a five. We're going to probably ignore that. That's a four. So we're taking the five. <laughs> Adding nine. You're the worst. Yeah. <laughs> so, despite being right next to Neb three, mm -hmm. despite having a totally clear swing, you miss completely. Abdomen. You miss his abdomen completely. Because he dodges <laughs> it. That is. I'm gonna let you narrate this. Okay. <coughs> I'm. I'm so close to Neb three. Mm -hmm. I, I roll the attack and hit his bulb flat with my axe. And it just makes like a funny like bouncing noise, uh, a sort of boom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's just like <laughs> was it just incompetence that made you hit him with the flat it's of your axe? Bubble butt. No, yeah. I just I wanted to. D yes, it was incompetence. Okay, okay. But now you okay. can play it off like a like a sportsmanship thing. Like, yeah. Hey, go get him, slugger. Yeah. Like, go, happy to have you on the you team. You sexually yeah. assaulted that dreader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so. <laughs> Neb three feels like he just got spanked. Yep. And he's like, he did. What in the seven hells? We, you. We do not accept your terms. Uh, he just clearly I agreed. I accept the terms. Hucker, <laughs> don't accept those terms. You're gonna be his weird slave to find no. a bunch of ashes. You just you spanked break? me like a child. You are a child. I will rip every part of your robot body. Wait. Limb from limb. I am duty bound by honor. 
<laughs> to find Neb 2's remains. And so you shall, after I deal with this filth. Just wait. For what? An uneasy alliance. <laughs> <laughs> Let us unite, oh. brothers, and slay anyone in our path. We'll be an unstoppable triforce of death and destruction. This what say you? Triforce. The two words, uneasy alliance, light a fire deep in the, in the darkness of my mind that I didn't know existed, and I suddenly agree with Hogger's appeal. This insulting abomination has a nothing to prove that he wants to work with me to restore honor to my lineage. Oh, this little spat is what We're do you offer, of robot <laughs> filth? Um, I, sh I show him how my l eyes can light up. Can you still do that? Shh. No, 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 oh. that was one of Mecha Andrea's abilities is light up eyes. Good enough! <laughs> Good I enough! Just, just turn them on, just... I assume that is a robot's way of communicating peace. It is a deed of honor. Are you telling me <laughs> that by lighting up his eyes, it is an act of humility? Yes. For the robot? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, I, th I thought it was just a cool thing that I can do <laughs> that other things can't do. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> yes. I demand. <laughs> Shut up. So I know you're not betraying me. Your eyes must remain lit up <laughs> while you are in the remainder of my service. <laughs> I accept these terms. <laughs> what the hell is happening? Now help me up. <laughs> Do you still have a sword? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hogger! Sword's out of his back. Oh, okay. I will now refer to you as your name, because you've proven yourself. You are too weak to walk on your own. Ride on my back. Oh my god. And we will assault the world together. Hogger my pleasure! <laughs> Hop on your back. He hops on his back. Yes. A drider yeah. riding a drider with an axe. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Things are all right. Let's uh, let's snap to Pervince and Lilia. Okay. Now yeah, remember, your eyes are always lit up. <laughs> yes, I remember. Can all, we okay. communicate yeah. telepathically right now for any reason? I don't I mean, remember. I have sending. I have a power. Oh, but I can't. I can't go me. back and forth. Yeah. Um. Okay. So I go. I go to to Pervince. I go. Okay. I got two ideas. One. I could try It'll to never work. <laughs> <laughs> the first idea is the less good one. I could try to use divination to kind of ask Sylvanus, the god of nature. Sylvanus? Sylvia! <laughs> no, Sylvanus is the god of nature. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, what to do. Or two, is this diamond, is this thing's like a prism, right? Uh, it is, it is a... Like a big crystal? Yes. So light going into it would refract and theoretically shoot all over the place? That is a good assumption. You you haven't proven that. I can moonbeam this piece of shit. Theoretically, sending painful moonbeams everywhere inside of her, you know, core. Awesome. It's a really good idea. Moonbeam. <laughs> it's an excellent creative idea. OP moonbeam. My dear is Lily, I have looked into the center of this prism and I have seen all that I could imagine to want for my entire being. Don't fall a back. beautiful spider That's a queen. Trick. A beautiful spider queen wife. <laughs> a, a, an endless source of friendship. <laughs> oh, my father's respect. And, and a, a golden set of bagpipes. But we must blast the every being out of this ugly, ugly spider queen no, with no. her skin and her ugly yellow eyes. Fervent. Do what you will. As you finish your rousing speech, the, the crystal oh, no. stops. The crystal has stopped. <laughs> What's it gonna do? A, a small rectangular part of it opens, as <gasps> if it's a door. <gasps> Stay back. Stay behind me, Pervin. Stay behind me, Elilia. <laughs> stay, stay behind no, me. Stay behind me. Uh, we'll stand next to the other side. We'll stand next to A walkway, seemingly made of light, 
slowly extends from the doorway, leading to a black void. It can only mean one thing. Outside of this void, outside of this void, steps your family. They're not real perverts. They have wide smiles. They radiate warmth and comfort. And they motion toward you, Pyramids. They ask you to join them. They like speak to me? Uh, not right away. They just kind of smile and go like this. And then they say, in the, the parents' voice, you can very clearly tell that it is their voice. Pervent, we're so proud of you. Come, Pervent. let us celebrate. Pervent, don't your accept journey. these lies. Pervent, we need a moonbeam. Yeah, I moonbeam the crystal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pervent, I said, Pervent, no. Pop, pop. Moonbeam. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> okay, so you moonbeam the crystal. <laughs> Straight down the middle of yeah, the top. Yeah, but before we roll for damage, there's an effect of this moonbeam that I want to narrate and have you guys respond to really quickly. Kill Pervis' whole family! As you, mean, they're out of the crystal! As you moonbeam <laughs> that, Pervis, you see your family suffering. Oh. They all fall to their knees <laughs> oh and they start God. screaming in pain. Is that like, family or is it a mirage? You don't know. Okay. But it, but, but, but uh, right now, at a glance, it really does seem like your family. And they, they, they convincingly seem like they're in pain. They're like, Pervent, please! <laughs> we just, just stop it! Please stop it! We just want to talk. I am a stop Mima, Pop Pop! It's an illusion, Pervents! Uh, Pervents runs. Or Sylvia teleported your parents here. Pervents goes to Either run. Way. He goes to run the crystal to grab his family. I try to, I try to grab Pervents. Okay. And stop him. All right, so Lila. We got some rolls uh, to wait, do. Yeah. Wait, uh. How can you moonbeam and grab? Uh, maybe you can. You can, uh, as long as I don't cast another concentration spell. Okay. Like I can attack and stuff. Okay. So. Can you make a dexterity check, Lightly? Okay. Can you make a dexterity check, Pervins? Ooh. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Natural twenty. Yeah, mine's like uh, fourteen. Uh, whether it's thanks to your ro robotic legs or just your natural athleticism, <laughs> oh, yeah. you easily <laughs> evade Lila's grasp. Are my family impressed? They're like, as they're in pain, they're like, yeah, cool. I've won their respect. Yeah. So Hermits, no! Hermits runs into the moonbeam to grab his Mima and pop pop. He oh, runs God, into no, the no. moonbeam. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so you will take some moonbeam damage. Let's roll for let's roll for moonbeam damage. Uh, well, here I have. Uh, hmm. Old reliable moonbeam. I was gonna cast it at a third level slot, so that it does 3d10 of radiant damage. Yeah, don't. Whatever your initial yeah, intentions yeah, were, I think you've got to yeah. follow through. Okay. Unfortunately, um, don't don't worry, Pervins. I. What if the radiant damage? I'm not trying to be manipulative. Just makes Pervins radioactive now. Whoa. That could be. Radioactive. Um, it does more damage to like Pervins. evil things. Uh, okay, so I'm rolling for for damage right now. Yes. No, right. Sylvia saves Pervins. Uh, that's he did just call her ugly. Plus in her own brain. <laughs> plus four. Uh, that's eighteen. Uh, my spell attack bonus is eight. I forgot how magic works. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you just if it's if it adds your spell casting modifier, it's just your uh, uh, oh wisdom. Yeah. Uh, the the creature charisma. has to make a. Uh, Okay. When the creature enters the spell's area for the first time or turn starts on its turn there, uh, it's engulfed in ghostly flames that cause searing pain. It has to make a constitution saving throw. It takes, in our case, 3d10, which was 18. Uh, on a failed save, it takes half as much. Um, Wait, on a successful save, it takes half as much. It's like yeah, if yeah, they yeah, succeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Uh, go ahead and make the, uh, the saving throw, Perrins. Add your constitution modifier. Uh, I guess it's good enough. three. Yeah, it's not good enough. Seven. Seven. Um, no, I think it's three. I thought I had it written down before. Um, so how much did you roll for damage? Eighteen. Okay, so Pervins, you take eighteen points of damage. Um, Whoa. As I'm hoping it does more to Sylvia since it's like her brain. As and refracting everywhere. 
you you reach your parents, uh, and your mother clasps your hand, and you can see the skin coming off of them, and as and in their in their final moments, oh, Jesus. Uh, your mother says, "Pervent, we will always be proud of you." And then the blast of the moonbeam eradicates them. Oh my god, I hope they weren't real. Uh, you, <laughs> see the, you see the moonbeam affecting Pervins. Do you continue to cast it? Uh, I, I want to run up there and grab Pervins away. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make a dexterity check. Pervins, you don't have to make one since you're not actively uh, trying to get away from it. Jesus. Five? Can we roll that? You haven't oh yeah. Inspo. Well, I mean, huh? Maybe Pervin dies with his family. Pervin doesn't have to just sit there and take yeah, the Pervin's damage. Yeah, Pervin can move. Yeah, there's absolutely. nothing keeping Pervin there. Uh, that's yeah. better. Yeah, uh, but I, I mean, I can't forcibly move yeah. Pervin. Uh, yeah. Uh, sixteen or something. So yes, you would be, you would be successful in grabbing okay. Pervin away. I grab Pervin away. Do I take moonbeam damage from my own moonbeam yes. while doing this? Yes. Uh, 18. It was a noble I get, sacrifice. I get to make a con saving throw. You right? sure nice. do. <laughs> that's a nat one. Yeah, that's uh, that you. Because I'm distracted. I'm, I'm keeping the right. I'm keeping the spell going right. and grabbing yep. pervins out of the flames. You also take 18 points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing more damage to ourselves. So pervins or er, uh, Lily, you grab pervins and kind of fling, jump back from the moonbeam. Yeah. How, do you, how are you feeling right now, Pervins? Pervins is heartbroken. Um, I say to Pervins, I say, uh, I say, Pervins, that was just a trick that Sylvia was playing. Please believe me that your family is fine. Pervins looks up at Lilia with tearful eyes and he says, I don't have a family. It's gonna be and then okay. he said, and then he says, "Let's go. We have to kill Sylvia." I'm, tr I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying my ass off. <laughs> um. So, the moon, the moonbeam has an effect on Sylvia. Uh huh. Uh, you don't do any damage to the crystal itself, but okay. as you theorized, it does refract the light. Okay. You can't see any walls around you, but beams are extending in all directions. Are these beams burning them as well? Uh, We're able to like avoid them, I hope. Yes, you're able to avoid them. There, there are a lot of beams. It's not, it's not like covering the whole room. It's just there are like a lot of little beams yeah. going in all directions. Cool. You are in a spot where there are no beams. But they kind of have to like run around. Well, and actually, the crystal stopped. The crystal stopped. Every yes, that's turn, right. Every turn, since the crystal doesn't seem to move laterally. Mm -hmm. No, the crystal is not moving at all. Right, yeah. 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 So every every six seconds... Taking more damage. It has to pass another con roll. Because it's technically starting its turn in the moonbeam for a minute. The, the crystal is not a, a creature capable of making a con roll. Oh. oh so but Sylvia just, is. It just takes... Yes. Damage. It's a different thing. It's a different thing. Okay. Just trust me. All right. So, but it is having an effect on Sylvia. These beams, even though you don't see where these beams are hitting, it's clear that Sylvia is in pain. You hear a loud cry of pain. You guys hear it as well, um, Hogger and Mecha Hogger. You hear it, <laughs> you hear it as well. Um, unfortunately, this is causing Sylvia to, to have a physical reaction. So her body is kind of convulsing in pain, which of course affects her brain because her head is moving. Yeah. I need both of you to make an dexterity check to ensure that you don't fall into a beam. It's 11. Uh, 15. Lily, you are successful. You are able to kind of hold your ground as as the, uh, you see, but you see Pervins start to fall. I go, ah, Pervins, I grab Pervins' arm. Okay, make a dexterity check. Both of you? Oh, Jesus. 18, or, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use inspiration. Sure. <laughs> I have. I rolled twenty. Natty one. Uh. 
All right. Uh, Fourteen. That is good enough. So you are you are able to grab onto each other. Pervitz, I got you. Just let go. There's Never. no point anymore. Never, Pervitz. Save yourself. Kill Sylvia. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, this, this is kind of going on for, 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 for a few moments. You see the moonbeam having an effect. Mm -hmm. Are you just going to try to ride out the storm, or are there any additional actions you would like to take? Uh, after a minute of, because I can cast moonbeam for up to one minute, so I would, I would do that. And then, uh, I might try up on my game to per another spell. Pervance takes out his, his sword, his non-singing sword, and just kind of like, Jams it into the side of Sylvia. Whoa. Okay. Um, what, whatever like surface of her that he is his closest to and on. Yeah. So it's weird. Like the the ground beneath you is just black, but you like there's it's solid. You feel like something is under you, even though if you can't quite discern what it is. So I'm, that's that's like the closest thing. So I'm assuming you just kind of stab into the ground. Yeah. Can I have you make a strength check? Don't get your sword stuck. Uh, Eleven. Okay, uh, did you add your strength? My strength is zero. Okay. Um, so you you try to strike down and it just kind of bounces, not bounces, but it just like, it just, it doesn't puncture. Can I try again? Yeah. That doesn't hit. I'll try again. Can I keep trying until I Yeah, it just, keeps, <laughs> it just keeps not. 20. Not going in. There we go, 20. So after <laughs> repeated attempts, uh, I'm assuming the emotion of what just happened to you is kind of influencing. There are tears streaming down Pervance's face. Yeah. Um, it gives you an unnatural strength and an unnatural determination. And you, eventually you do kind of pierce it. Just barely, the, the, the tip of your sword goes in. And you're surprised by this. And Sylvia, it has an effect on Sylvia as well. Oh. Um, and she starts reacting more violently. Uh, I'm gonna cut back to you two, yeah. gentlemen. Um, Neb two motions and he says, "Neb two is dead." Or I'm sorry, Neb three. I apologize. <laughs> Too many Nebs. Um, <clears throat> he says to both of you, "We must leave this place." Ha! <laughs> I don't think so. You Our are in. friends are having all the fun! You just offered, you, Hogger, you are his slave! Do you not really There'll be what time you, for that later! Just, oh my god. No, 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 dear Hogger! <laughs> you accepted unconditional servitude until you restore honor to me. Servitude? I'm thinking more of a partnership. <laughs> I had you on the ground, and you said, I agree. Look at all the fun they're having up there. Don't you want to kill a god? They'll sing songs of your name thousands of years from now. Do Are you telling do me? Do a persuasion check. Yeah, persuasion. <laughs> sure. Can I see your monster manual? Yeah. Damn it. Don't look up Driders. Oh. Why are we not allowed to look up Driders? Because you're going to fight Driders. Oh. I want you to see their stats. Nine. Yeah, he's unconvinced. He oh. says, you're telling me that you are not as I thought you were. You care more about glory and bard singing songs than, than about family and honor? Honor? My friends could be dying up there! They're not your friends anymore. My, your only friend is me. Who are you to say that? <laughs> Look, pal. From now I on? I don't mind. I will Serving throw you, you on the ground until every time you address me, you say you end with master. <laughs> Goes Look, for I don't you know too, you deal. hunk of junk. I don't know what kind of deal you think we have here. I offered my unconditional service to look for your brother. Now, I'm not going to be your slave. I offered help. And you have my word that I will continue to help you until we find your brother. Now I'm not gonna lick your boots, if you have any. <laughs> and I'm not gonna do everything you say, but I will look for your brother. Now in the meantime, I have comrades, brothers in arms, up there that could need our help. 
Now I'm not gonna run from this fight. Are you with me or not? The contract is broken. It's not broken. <laughs> All right. We can look for your brother after! He shakes you off. There will be time! I wanna catch Hogger. I wanna okay. I wanna try to hang on. Okay. You're not oh no, okay. Make it extreme. Just gonna try to hang on. I'll keep it, you have disadvantage on this, by the way. Uh, because you're injured. Okay. Okay. One. You have to take the you have it's to take roll. the lower roll. Oh right, right. Disadvantage. Oh god. <laughs> it's a six, six. for the record. He shakes you off with little effort. All right, I'm gonna try to grab Hogger. Okay, make a strength check. Because we're still in a battlefield full of driders, by the yeah. way. Right. Uh, but well, I, I assume there's also like mechs I everywhere. I, I assume wanna... they cleared a path for us when we were riding with Neb Three. What's that? They're clear. I assume they cleared a path when we were riding with Neb Three. The, the way that it is, <laughs> this is partly for convenience, but it's true as well. A shocking number of. Goose Swanson's robots have come oh, in. Nice. It's it's pretty much taking the, like one robot is strong is as strong as about fifteen riders. Yeah, we fought robots. They're so not, they, yeah. they they mess around. They, they 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 don't think you guys are actually any real threat to Sylvia, whereas they view the robots as a real threat. So they just don't e they they literally don't even care about you. Honestly, robot. I think that's fair. Uh, yeah. Twenty one on the dex roll. Not a dex strength. Oh, well, you're then close way, enough way better than even more. You, than. To, you, yeah, you, you have, have plus you have, five. You have seven plus yes. seven, right? Oh, right, because I'm a robot. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah, yeah. Hogger, it feels 26. like you, you fall into a loving embrace. <laughs> yeah, because I got like hydraulics. It's like a little cushion, just like. <laughs> 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 All right. Put me down. We never should have trusted a neb. A neb. <laughs> we can still convince this bastard. I can hear you. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> We could use your resources. We could use your help right Your now. eyes are still on, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we could use your help. Just relax. You know, I used to be like you. <laughs> you still fucking are. A psychopath <laughs> with no patience. <laughs> but my friends taught me the error of my ways. This is beautiful. There's still hope for you yet. I don't want to be like you, a worm that crawls in the ground, not even strong enough to defend the people he cares about. Oh. I'm better off without you. I will avenge my brother on my own. Scum like you have only made my life worse. You are a disgrace. You deserve to be scraped off the ground and thrown in the waste. There's still time for redemption. You're gonna give up, coward? I'm not the one on the ground. It's I hope like you bleed out. Of Detective season two. It's like an episode of like Young and the Restless. I spit on him. People just keep saying oh the same no! Thing yeah. each other over and over again. Make a spit check. Can I ask a question? S Classic yes. spit check. So Neb two and three are brothers. Were Neb one and two are like are these three brothers? Neb one and two, no relation. Neb no relation. One, yeah. Yeah. Neb one okay. is a uh, different species. There, yeah. there is a connection. Why they're named Neb two and three? Were they like Sylvia's like, warriors? <laughs> That she named? I didn't know. Neb was your guys' name. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we named the planet Ben as well. Yeah. 17. <laughs> Dex, right? For spit. Uh, yes. 19. Oh, that's a good spit check. Right in his eyeballs. It goes right into his eyeballs. <laughs> right into his eyeballs. Listen. No, no, no. He's he's too upset. The oh, spit no. was the last straw. Oh, there's no listening after that. He He attacks you. <laughs> you spin what did he fucking expect? Yeah, all right, so happen? all right, yeah. back into combat. Let's all roll. All right, here we go. <laughs> Let's just deal with this guy. Oh, I got a five. So that's a seven, I think. Not twenty. Whoa. Well, this is just for yeah. initiative. Yeah. yeah. So you got a twenty-two. Or whatever. Okay, so it's a it's actually a seven. Okay. Whoa. Just to be clear, Hugger agreed to be this man's slave. Yeah, he did. He totally did. 20 minutes later, he's like, no, wait a second. <laughs> There's a talker. There's time after. A freaking god is no, writhing around. Slave masters don't give their mm. slaves like time mm. to do what they want. That's the mm. whole point. Oh, man. So, yeah, Hogger. This is on you, buddy. Hogger was. <laughs> you were fucking. Hogger had another idea of what the, the, the deal offer was. was. Yeah, the yeah, offer yeah. Was. yeah. 
Yeah. He thought it was more of a partnership. <laughs> he said slave. <laughs> the word came out. Unconditional slave. Okay. I guess I thought he would have some, some reason. No, no not not man of reason. In his mind, what he's doing is like you being an unconditional slave is merciful to him. Yeah. Like he's showing yeah. he should have killed you. And now uh, he's going to We got a battle now. So well, Arger, you are first. Nice. You are on the ground. Or no. no, he's not. I caught him. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. You caught him. Yeah. So you're still holding on to him. I think I set him up. He said put me down and I set yeah. him up. You so you can't effectively stand very well. Trees. Keep that in mind. Yeah. Mortally wounded. Yeah, Mortally okay. wounded. What is your action? What's my action? Last chance. No. Oh. He just spit in his eye. <laughs> Nothing you Let's do be makes partners. Sense. What the fuck? I guess roll a persuasion check at least or something. Partners. Take a stab at it. Oh, do I get away? Why <laughs> would I let you? be on the same level as me. The only way this works is if you earn your keep and prove to me that you are more than a dishonorable yes. insect. Leave him his brother's body How? back then. Be my slave. When we find my brother's remains, mm -hmm. I will be your partner for life. You will have proven your worth and created a bond with me that will be unbroken. On one condition. Name it. I can get this spell. We help my friends first. <laughs> Why are they worth the hassle? Because <laughs> they've my changed my life. <laughs> Why do I care? They are comrades. And I, I never leave a comrade behind. You just tried to also, they're kill, hurting like, Sylvia right now. When is the last time you saw Sylvia hurt? Are, are you are you saying that to hit Neb 3? Yeah. Okay. I care little for spider goddesses and their one destruction. All I care about is my brother. I live and die by my I'm honor. Rock in a hard place over here. Sylvia might have answers. Sylvia killed your brother. It, she was responsible. Let's go find out. Make a persuasion check. Oh man, this better be a twenty. Oh, ten. Okay. Here we go. Your words feel empty. God <laughs> <laughs> damn it! God. Fight him. Try again. But <laughs> I want to see you try to rescue your comrades. If you fight valiantly for them, maybe you're more worthwhile than I thought. However. Mr. Eyes over here <laughs> offers no convincing case. I never turned my eyes off. <laughs> I never turned them off. That was the deal. <laughs> that was the deal. I suppose that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How do you propose we get to your friends? Boost us up. Yeah, simple. We'll grab a leg and hop up. Yeah. What is I'm not sure I understand, but I will go along with it. Okay. Okay. All right, let's come back to you guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, that took more than a minute, I suppose, so my moonbeam ends. So she's still shaking up the storm, She right? is. Yeah, shaking but, up the storm. But, but for the sake of moving things along, let's uh, let's say her moonbeam ends. All right, I call lightning on the crystal. Whoa. Okay. Uh, that's going to be 3d10 lightning damage. Don't you need a sky to do lightning? It's an endless room. I just need a hundred feet. I think you need a sky, actually. Uh, centered on a point you can see one hundred feet directly above you. Okay. The yeah. storm cloud appears. It makes itself. Okay. Okay. All right. Just cool. checking. It fails if, if the there isn't a point in the air where the storm cloud could appear, like in a room too small for a cloud. But in an endless space, I can do all my magic. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, okay, it just says the only way it could fail is if you are in a room that can accommodate the cloud, but an endless room could easily accommodate the cloud. So we're good there. Uh, yeah, so I call that lightning down onto the crystal. Uh, it has to make a dexterity saving throw, but since it can't, it just takes it, right? Correct. Um, 
All right. Uh, that's uh, 11 plus 6. That's uh, 17 damage. Okay. Um, and I can just do this over and over again for 10 minutes. Whoa. <laughs> Just keep every, throwing every the lightning. Every six seconds or whatever, on every turn, I can just keep doing this for ten minutes. I can awesome. make the lightning strike again and again My and again God. on the same place. So, uh, you see a crack Ooh. start to form at the top of the crystal. Stay the course. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, I need you to make, both of you need to make perception checks. Here we go. This isn't unfortunate, this is good. Oh no. Oh no. Um, ten. Unless I use a, a, a inspiration. One. Negative Ooh. one perception. <laughs> 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 Just have no idea what's even going on. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's still shaking. Uh, nat 20. Nice, so there it 29. is. 29. Okay, Lilia. Right <laughs> you see two driders in red metal armor Whoa. appear. Oh no. It seems they have been sent to snuff you out and end the pain of the queen. Elite driders. They appear inside the uh, in the same in the same room you are. Oh, in. okay. Pervis doesn't see them. Pervis does not see them. <laughs> I uh continue, He's still just jamming a sword I continue in the floor. casting call lightning onto the crystal and I say Pervis driders. Where? <laughs> Over there. And I indicate wherever the fuck these driders. Sure. Are. <laughs> uh Pervis, you see the driders. <laughs> and we're still shaking, right? So if I move, you are still shaking. I'm going to be. However, is the lightning shooting out all over too? Or does it just Yes, the it is shooting out all over. Yes. Okay. So I what is to, happening? I could try to I could try to angle this lightning through the crystal to hit these driders too. That'll be you can. I like that idea. It's, it's <laughs> difficult. I just want you to know that that's yeah, not an easy yeah, thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. As long as it's still hitting the crystal, I'm pretty okay with it. Uh, now, despite the violent shaking, the driders, these driders, these elite driders, as Kyle referred to them, yeah, uh, actually have metal tips on their legs. Oh. They seem to have no problem with the shaking. Cast they are not impaired. Cloud of daggers at them. Okay. Ooh. What does cloud of daggers do? We have not encountered so that. Cloud of before. daggers is on page two twenty-two. In theory, these daggers are made of metal and wood. Conduct lightning. Sick. So if I get the lightning oh. anywhere, that cloud of daggers. So. That yeah. is like a, an incredible idea. I love the <laughs> idea of you and Pervins combining your magical might, but getting the lightning on the daggers is going to be a heroic feat. I want you to keep that in mind. Yeah, that's so fine. The lightning can, or the cloud of daggers can be cast at a sixty foot range. It's a it's a cloud of spinning daggers in a cube five feet on each side. It centers a on cube. a point that I choose. The creatures take four d four slashing damage when they enter the spell's area. Um, Plus some fucking lightning. I'm gonna cast it at. <laughs> I'll cast it at a third level so spell slot. So instead so of doing 44, I would do 64. Yeah, so it will take two extra d4. Yep. Okay. Um, What's up, Red Driders? They they are kind of. They didn't ex they didn't like they knew their queen was in pain, um, but they didn't expect there to be lightning. <laughs> um, so the way that this is going to work is like they're trying to discern what's going on in the room. They're even having a hard time seeing you because the lightning's going all over the place. <laughs> Both of you actually get one free action before initiative starts. Nice. This cloud of daggers counts as that free action. I want you to know you like you won't get an additional action after this. That's free. Can I get like one tiny little action? You can get a, you can get a movement or speaking. Pervance. Or bonus action. Cuts his thumb on his sword, <laughs> and then he smears the blood <laughs> on his cheeks, <laughs> on his forehead. Oh my god, Harger will love this. And then Pervance. shot out the, the cloud. <laughs> and then he says, looks at Lily and he says, Storm's coming. <laughs> 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 and a cloud of daggers. <laughs> I love that. I go, I go to Pervin's. I'm like, I, I, I see him do the daggers, and I'm like, I got an idea. Give me some of that blood too. And then, yeah. All right. And then I try to angle the lightning 
to go into because I can call the lightning over and over, so I try to call it and aim yeah. it in through the la through the I refraction of the crystal. I understand that you bag. can you can call it over and over again. Uh -huh. For the sake of simplicity, I'm gonna have you roll a raw d20 okay. to determine if this is successful. Because I can or not. move it slightly. Too. Yes, but you get it. Well, plus we're in combat now. Yeah. Well, yes. This is our free action. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, oh. Four. Oh. <laughs> Damn it! You do have inspiration still, correct? Yeah. Uh, uh, Pervins, I would like to give you a point of inspiration for your wonderful... Blood. <laughs> so good. I use a point of inspiration. Good. Pervins yeah. has gone insane. How many points do you have left? Two. Okay. <laughs> That's a 12. That's successful. Yes! <laughs> so, this glorious... So, the... This is what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, you the, the you don't get the full effect of the yeah. the d10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to in addition to the 64, I'm going to add 2d10 worth of damage. Okay. So it's 6 d6 64 plus 2d10. 64 plus 2d10. <laughs> so that's 5. That's uh, 19. Just give me the total number when you're done. Write them down. This is awesome. <laughs> this is a great roll so far, by the way, everybody. Thanks, everybody. So yeah, a lot of twenties going on today. Total is twelve. Got none. Her total is twelve. Mine is nineteen. It's twelve plus nineteen is thirty-one. Thirty-one. Okay. The cl are the clouds rumbling? The daggers. This is your attack. Please take with it however you want. You can do the daggers. I'll do the clouds. Okay. Oh. 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 Cloud sound like Nixon. Oh. <laughs> 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 I mean, we, keep, we want to keep going. <laughs> so the daggers, How long the thanks daggers to that was? wonderful, whatever that was. So we have these daggers for one minute, and I can do lightning for ten. So this is awesome. Okay, I mean they—they're going. I mean they're going to try to react yeah, yeah, once yeah, yeah. once we roll initiative and stuff. Um, the daggers are so powerful that the lightning causes it to cut through their armor. So that they're, they're, you see a bunch of like slashes through their armor, and they're, they're they're like covered in blood. They're clearly affected. In fact, they've never been damaged this way before. Um, they're. They're that good at fighting that they're surprised. Like this actually helps you in battle. They're surprised at how much they're in pain right now. Now can I have you guys roll an initiative? Okay. Six. What do I add to my initiative? Twenty-one. Dexterity. Dexterity. Oh, so, uh, so eight. Twenty-one. Okay. Nice. My every move I'm gonna make in this battle is really simple. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the elite, the elite um, Driders get to move first. They beat a twenty-one, damn Driders. Um, so with color daggers, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like you can move the spell. Once you determine the target area, it's just there. Oh, so they can just step out. Yes. So oh. they're they're going to they're. There's one the, for the sake of simplicity. There's one on the left. There's one on the right. They both move their respective directions. So the left one moves outside of it to the left, the right one moves outside of it to the right. Outside of the lightning too? The lightning daggers. The I mean the lightning's still going the, on. In the yes. Daggers, yes. Yeah. Um, they're, they're about 30 feet away from you, which is enough to reach you. Uh, the left one charges at you, Pervins, and swings. The right one charges at you, Lightly, and swings. Can Pervins attempt to um, go full height on his legs and separate them so the drider runs through them. Mm -hmm. I love that idea. Unfortunately, when it's their turn, you, you don't, unless they provoke like an attack of opportunity or something, you really don't get that, that freedom, unless unfortunately. Unless you uh, prepared a reaction or whatever. Yeah. Um, yes, exactly. Unless you prepared <laughs> something specifically for that. Um, so what is your armor class pervents? 13. Oh no. Miss? We didn't talk about their weapons. What are these yeah. things holding? That's an excellent question, Kyle, because these weapons are nothing to mess around with. Uh, the, the, the one that is attacking Pervins, the right 
the left, excuse me, the left elite rider that is attacking Pervins has a flaming scimitar. No. It's a red blade, and it is on fire. The one attacking Lilia has a flail, and the speaking of lightning, the 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 metal spiky balls of the flail are covered in lightning. So if they do hit, it will you will take physical damage and elemental damage. Pervins has no fear. He has no fear anymore. He has nothing left to lose. I like that. And it works out for you because the Drider misses. Yeah. They, they only get one attack. Um, because it went through the, the legs. Pervins, Pervins was already yeah, pretty tall. Pervins did the thing. And he's like, I, I love that. I do. I'm not trying <laughs> to that down. down but you don't, yeah. you don't get the leg race. Pervins just was yet. already at six feet because he had to reach up to my face to put Shh. the blood on. Oh, okay. Sure. sure. So yeah. tall, that, it's taller than normal. Yeah. That works, but yeah. there was no additional extension yeah. yet, unfortunately. Yeah. Remember when he asked to speak turn. to the tallest person in the village? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so the, <laughs> the right rider attacks you. Okay. Misses. 14 is my armor. Yep. Misses completely. Nice. Um, <clears throat> These aren't elites. <laughs> Amateurs. Hey man, everybody has bad rolls. <laughs> uh, Lilia, it's your turn. I move 45 feet away from the drider and continue casting Call Lightning on the crystal. <laughs> Do you disengage? <laughs> uh, can I continue casting my spell without... I believe, because aren't the conditions just you can only not cast yeah. other spells? Yeah. Yeah, because I can attack. So yes, I but but if you disengage, if if you disengage, you cannot. Dis disengage is a full action in the sense that you can't like redirect the lightning to them. Right, right, right. You yeah. would just disengage and move away. I disengage, continue calling lightning on the crystal, and move forty-five feet away from the drider. Okay. Cool. Um, we'll do something at the end of the the combat round. Perrins, it's your turn. Sylvia, stand down these beasts. No response. I Perrin. hope she can't hear us in here. <laughs> Purvis takes out his short bow. Okay. And shoots the one, I guess he's on the left, right? I mean, he's right in front of you. He's right, right in front of you, oh. and <laughs> shooting shooting at this close of range is going to be difficult. He's gonna try. He's gone okay. rogue. Can I just Rambo. ask why, why you didn't just attack with your sword? I thought it'd be cooler <laughs> to use the bow. That is, <laughs> that is your choice. <laughs> oh my god, I just got an amazing idea. In third edition, you had to be at a certain distance away. Well, I, uh, I think uh, you I might have cool. disadvantage if you're super close. Yeah, that's what that's what I was. Oh my that's God, what I was curious. Let me look that up. Because this is not third edition. Structure. One ninety five. With an ice storm. Science. Okay. Uh, range attacks. When you make a range attack, you fire a bow or crossbow. I have to do that. Two D eight bludgeoning damage and four D six cold damage. <laughs> Aiming you a range attack is more difficult when a foe is next to you. When you make a range attack with a weapon spell or some other means, you have a disadvantage on an attack roll if you are within five feet of a hostile creature. So you do have disadvantage on this roll. Okay, so we he is within five feet of mm -hmm. me. Um, I guess I'll attack with my sword then. That's fine. Sorry to. No, I'm I just thought it'd be bummer. cool to use my bow. You could. I guess I could attack could the other one that's not within range of me, but yeah, I still think attack me. Yeah, what you could, if you really are committed to this bow idea, you okay. could disengage and then set up uh, an attack for next turn. That's okay. I'll oh, a d8. Um, you have to make an attack roll first with your d20. Do I add anything to it? You add your attack modifier, which should be next to the weapon. So, it should uh, be plus so I have attack modifier of two. Yeah, so it'll be plus two. Oh, sorry, 15. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you are, you're very close. The the elite just v narrowly dodges the attack. Um, and you you just only slightly miss. Um, so the way that we're going to handle this lighting going all over the place, I don't want it to be constantly interrupting the fight, but I figure <laughs> at the end of each round, they'll have to make a dexterity che check to dodge the lightning. Probably right. everybody does. Everybody does, yes, absolutely. Now we Thank have no you. idea That's where that point. thing's going out. Yeah. So everybody has to make a dexterity check, including you, even including the caster. Um, what is your spell save DC modifier? 
My spell save DC is 16. 16. So everybody will have to roll above a 16 with a dexterity oh check. God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Both of the elites miss. Yeah, they're not very elite. I roll a 14. Oh, no. <laughs> Pervins, roll make a dex, a dex check. check. Do we... Uh, I have one so I can re-roll. Yeah. You can go with Lucky, this. yeah. Go Lucky. With this or not. Would at least I have advantage against my own lightning? The only problem that I have with that is like you are in control of it somewhat. I don't but, think you can do, do lucky over and over. No, you can do only do lucky once. once. Yeah. Oh, so I won. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Uh, Two ones. Jeez. So is there a like half damage thing where uh, if you get lightning? hit, do you? Yeah. Do you? Uh, yeah. I think on a failed save, you or on a successful save, I mean, you um, take half. Well, everybody failed, so they take the full damage. <laughs> What's the full damage? Uh, it was 18, uh, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was... Re-roll. Re okay. Re-roll the die for it. Uh, that's a... That's a six. Uh, 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 14 plus... 10? 24? <laughs> uh, everybody in the room takes 24 damage. Oh, yeah. God. Sick. 10 hit points. <laughs> uh, the, the crystals crack. It's a single crack. Um, that you can, you can, nice. you're basically on the side where the crack is. It's good. Uh, it's, it's halfway down now. Okay. Cracking that crystal. Um, take the hits. Yeah. I mean, I'm like, Pervitz, can you heal me? What, how are you doing? Not good. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've got one more check for you guys to make. Uh, uh -oh. Because of the, the continual damage of the lightning, Sylvia is, you know, getting more and more violent with her shakes. Oh, I need both of you to make a dexterity check. Oh damn it, I should have fucking used 14. the experience or whatever. Uh, uh, 13. <laughs> you both, you both fail. Yeah. Oh Jesus. So um, let fall into the darkness. <laughs> so you, you fall for a while, um, but you end up hitting what, what seems like an invisible wall. But you hit it pretty hard, so you take you take mild damage. Mm -hmm. Oh no, that mild my damage is never mild. My concentration is broken. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, you take, you take five, and you take five. <laughs> I have five hit points. You both take five. Ooh. So, because your concentration is blo broken, I'm assuming the lightning dissipates. The lightning stops. And you'll have to recast the spell on your yeah. turn. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> of course, the Driders, thanks to their steel-tipped toes, they are able to hold on just fine. Did they fall? But now, us? aren't they, they like twenty feet above us? What's up? Did they fall? Didn't us? you say we fell down away? No, you didn't fall down. Sorry, you fell laterally. So you you fell you fell to the side basically. Oh, so there, you're still on the same like plane. Pervis almost dead. Uh, <laughs> she says with a yawn. almost <laughs> dead. Is, there is good news. The driders are no longer next to you. Yeah. yeah. So Pervis, you're about thirty feet away, and Lilia, you're about fifty feet away from the driders that were attacking you, respectively. Okay. Um, uh, Sorry, we're gonna. That's the end of the combat round. Um, Sorry, what? Go ahead. Can I cast one thing? Not Just until it's your turn, okay. and your turn's unfortunately not for a little while. Okay. It's Driders, me, and then her. Straight. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Fuck. Uh, so we're gonna cut. Cut to you guys. Hogger, we are turning the tides of battle. Let's do it. We are essential to this war. That'd we're be nice. This. All of this is our doing. Yo, Andrew. <laughs> yes. I'll die before I let anyone take this kill. She's mine. Then you'll have to die, I guess, because she's my kill. Let's go. Let's go. May the best man win. I want to latch on to a big old spider leg. I take my bear claw <laughs> and my hand axe, <laughs> and I'm going to... So you, ab you abandoned... You're okay. You're climbing yep. yourself? <laughs> Hurry up, Neb3! <laughs> we just tried to like climb her legs. <laughs> She's thrashing about, right? Yeah, uh, she is yeah, thrashing yeah, yeah. about. Her legs are yeah. going all over the place. So, you, so here's the situation I'm going to set up for you guys. Yeah. Climbing Sylvia is a feat because of the violent thrashing. Yeah. Her thrashing, her her arms and her head even are hitting the, the rock wall above you. So debris is falling down in your path, which mm -hmm. you're also going to have to be mindful of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Neb, with his spider legs, can't climb as easily <laughs> as you guys can. But what he's going to try to do is he's going to try to climb the wall like that's near her. It's still quite a ways away. <coughs> and he's going to try to jump. 
So he's not kind of doing the same thing that you guys are doing. Yeah. So he doesn't have to worry about exactly the same things. That's his own cowardly choice. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's yeah. his own cowardly choice. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm going to make an assumption here. You got, you're climbing one leg and you're climbing a leg right next to him. Yes. I'm assuming you, the two view, front this, legs. you view this as a competition. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. It's like a race. Like yeah, to you, get to the top of Sylvia. You want to be the first. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> unfortunately, there's a bit of a predicament that the, 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 the you're really going to have to believe in this hogger. Okay. Uh, you're injured, yeah. which will affect your climbing. Yeah. yeah. Unless something happens. But anyway. Uh, I'm gonna have you guys take turns, essentially. Okay. Okay. We're gonna count this, we're, there's gonna be two separate rolls. <laughs> if you're successful on both rolls, you will move up five feet. Okay. I'm gonna five say- Five feet at a time? <laughs> this, is, this is not completely correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just gonna say once you hit 20 feet, uh -huh. you have successfully climbed. Oh, got it, got okay? it, okay. So, so we'll, say, we'll say five units. If you- Fail yep. either of the rolls on each check, yep. you fall five feet. Okay, oh this is good. Five Kay. units. Five units, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a better way of saying Kay. it. Uh, Hogger, I'm going to give you, so please make your strength check. Your strength is he's climbing up, the dexterity check is avoiding the debris. Okay. Ooh, that's a one, everybody. Which is still good for Hogger, that's still a six. Um, that's a fail, though. Yep. <laughs> that's a fail. Yeah, so so I'm uh, kind of just at the bottom. No, what happens? What happens is, and Mac and Andrew, please respond to this as you see fit. Yeah, Hogger, you put your axe into her leg, and then you reach to to climb up, and you fall back, and you look like a bumbling fool. Damn it, Bowser! You get it together. You're past your prime, flesh bag. You guys fighting now? Is that what's happening? We just got a competition. Yeah. Friendly competition. Uh, it's your turn. Okay, here we go. Strength first. Here we go. Strength first. That's, That's successful. A, okay. That's successful. I'm okay. Strength. Now Wait, it's 19. As he's doing this, I yeah. try to spit up. <laughs> okay. All right. Can I, can I have him make the second roll and then you're, we'll do your spit check? Anything? <laughs> no. <laughs> We're racing to you. Oh no! Oh, we're bad at dexterity so too, right? In yeah. Mecha Andrew's confidence, yeah. uh, he's like taunting you, <laughs> and he doesn't realize that a giant boulder yeah. hits him in the face, mm -hmm. and he falls backward. And you try to spit <laughs> as he's falling down. Make a spit check. Wait, who got hit by a boulder? Mecha Andrew. Oh. Thirteen. You are successful. <laughs> <laughs> you know that Hogger spit on you as yeah. you fall to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Do you mm. respond to this? If I were capable of spitting, you would be drenched right now. I'm gonna give you a hint. You are able to simulate spit. Ooh. That was designed into you. Cool. <laughs> I feel like some saliva swirl in the bottom of my mouth. I start Gross. I start storing up some saliva, some simulated saliva. So just like a your, <laughs> your saliva tanks are so big yeah. that if you were to let it reach maximum spit, <laughs> yeah. it would be like a tidal wave. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm storing it up. I'm storing it up. <laughs> okay. I kiss my Bowser hand. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Who are you? Let's do this. <laughs> all right, make your strength check. We could be here I all imagine day. them like six feet off the ground by this point. We are, oh god, that's a two. <laughs> that's a two. You can't even pick yourself up off the ground. All right, we got 40 minutes left to tape. Okay. So. Hogger, just climb on my back, you weakling. Can I? You could. You could That's have a written them three up. He's, got, successful. Yep. He's got hey, spider hey, Andrew, Don't leave me. <laughs> oh, God, God. Okay. <laughs> hop on. All right, hop on. <laughs> okay, the leg, so, half the state of so here's the thing. The I, I, from, I just want, I want to do the strength checks, and I want him to do the dex checks to like bat away the rocks while That's, he's running on my back. I like that answer. It's very creative and totally acceptable. Uh -huh. Take a point of inspiration for the idea. Okay, all I right. I really like it. All right, so you do the bat away the rocks check. Just you get the point of inspiration, though. Oh, okay. Twelve. That is good enough. Uh, for the f so these checks get slightly harder <laughs> with each thing, just slightly. Yeah. You're successful. <laughs> so uh, if you fail, 
it will hurt more because you're on top of each other. Keep yeah. that in mind. But yeah. the checks are maybe easier? Okay. Uh, as a result, it, harder and easier. It's it's strange. Uh, go ahead and make another strength check. Okay. So he, he successfully battered the right. He cut through <laughs> the rocks even. Oh, nice. Back. We're up our and first five chunks. Said. Yeah. Through first teamwork, we're yeah. discovering new strengths. Yeah, I like it. You also have a point of inspiration now to use. That's a 16. That's 17. successful. Oh, 17. You have plus two yeah. new strength, right? Oh, yeah. right, right. Or an additional plus two on top of all your strength. Okay. Okay. Ooh! Not 20. Just a blitzer. Just you, <coughs> so what you do is you see a rock coming yeah. and you're feeling so confident with this new teamwork power yeah. that you actually spit at the rock <laughs> and you spit with such force <laughs> that the boulder splits <laughs> and breaks open. <laughs> All right, we're halfway there. We're amazing. Uh, I, I want to give you both a new power, <laughs> uh -huh. thanks to this new cooperation. Yep. When you ride on Mecha Hogger's back, you now have weaponized spit. <laughs> cool. Yes. <laughs> it makes no sense, but I like it. Yep. Oh. Uh, make, so yep. you are now up 10 feet. You're halfway, halfway there. there. Halfway there. Here we go. Now the chicks are getting slightly tougher. Keep yep. that in mind. I okay. hope we don't kill the driders, but we just like spread some like <laughs> communicable disease that was <laughs> not prevalent there before. Like, like the common cold yeah. has been introduced. Here we go. Here we go. Big strength. Big strength. Uh, that is a 19. Totally oh, you plus said plus 7, so that's a 10, 20. Yeah, successful. Okay. Oh, successful! 17. Again, the spit shines <laughs> through. <laughs> 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 it's like three boulders. You're not even sure how this is happening, but you love it. Okay, uh, last life's check. easy when you More. work together. This is the hardest check. <laughs> and if you what? if you fall, it will hurt the most. <laughs> oh no. All right, here we go. Mecha injury. I feel invincible working as a team. What is this feeling? Friendship, my uh, friend. <laughs> Let's do it! <laughs> big roll, big roll. That is what friendship feels like, though. I hope Pervins just dies. <laughs> <laughs> His family's dead. He's been trying to teach Hogger about friendship. <laughs> <laughs> like, he he gets it off of a dryer and yeah. some spit. No, hey, it, a mirror image of himself. Yeah, the, woman, just... the woman that he loved turned out to be a gargoyle. Pervins taught me it all. <laughs> 20! Nat 20. Oh, oh. Nat 20, oh, big roll. Okay. So, like we're going to save you. Guys. Because of the Nat 20? So you mm -hmm. don't even know what's happening. You don't even need to spit, Hogger, or Mecha Andrew. You are so inspired by this, this friendship, yeah. this strength that it's given you, that you don't even climb. You say, Hogger, I got this. Mm -hmm. You jump. Yes. 20 feet in the air, much higher than you need to jump, mm -hmm. and you land gracefully. Right next to, in like right by the ear of, of Sylvia. Yes. You don't even need Like her up wall. by her ear? Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. You launch like a missile. How do you know that's where we went? I I walk into the ear and I say, I want. <laughs> <laughs> Better look next time. Race you to the brain. All right. <laughs> Neb three, hurry the hell up. Uh, so you guys didn't really give me a chance to say this. Yeah. But as you kind of finish your whatever that was, uh -huh. Neb3 says, what took you guys so Oh long? no. Of course, smug Neb3. He's three. got spider climbing, um, he yeah. can go the hell he wants. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Neb3. You win this one, scum. God damn it, stop picking fights with Neb3. <laughs> we only have so much time. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I want to get in the ear too. Yeah, so are you both like just kind of darting for the ear? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Neb3 is in the ear also? Right? He's trailing behind you. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I think that is going to be this episode of Sable Talk. Oh, oh yes. no! We gotta oh, heal! <laughs> Hermans was gonna cast Leoman's tiny hut! <laughs> Can I get on Mecha, Mecha Andri and then get on Neb3? So it's like a triple. You want, to, you want to stack? His spit yeah. could tear through the I universe. Want to stack. Could Neb3 hold us? Could Neb3 hold us? Theoretically, yes. I'm good with that then. But you'd have to convince him to, yeah. to make a totem <laughs> of you guys. Three men yeah. stack on each other. Yeah, because we need a spider climb. It's too <laughs> shaky right if, now. Yeah. If yeah. you were able to convince Neb3 yeah, that this honest, outlandish idea was a good one, yeah. your spit, all of your guys' spit, would. 
would ignite. So it stacks. It would destroy mountains. The yeah. Sith stacks. Sith stacks. Yeah, it stacks. All right. Stacks. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Things are getting loose. How, so how long have we been recording? <laughs> One hour, 15 minutes. Oh, okay. okay I see. Yep. All right. Yep. That's an episode. Maybe I have to wrap. Um, next week, all of you will be in the same place again. Yeah. We might see more Liam and Tiny Hut. We might see I flaming spit that. that can destroy mountains. Might, mm-hmm. might try to heal before this dragon I, kills me. Allies. I don't know how I'll feel if it's, it's what spit that causes victory. <laughs> 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 Thank you all for watching, and unless anything crazy happens, we will see you next week. Bye. Bye, Bye everybody.